Um, so what is OpenCL? What 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 is the purpose of OpenCL? <sighs> yes, OpenCL. It's uh, it's actually a compute API at Apple came up with. Okay. Um, and this was like. Now I have to do math, but I think it's like 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, it's like the, when the specification was released. And I think Apple looked into like how to accelerate their UI in the operating system and came up with this API, I think. I mean, I didn't really look at the history, but I think like the trademark is was originally Apple and might still be, I don't know, but you, they, they started it. Mm -hmm. And the rough idea was that, you know, we have those GPUs and it would be nice to use them for everything. And instead of, you know, running your code on the CPU, you can also run it on the GPU. Mm -hmm. um, and the programming language you use for OpenCL is OpenCL C. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's actual a C derived standard. So it's C with a bunch of stuff on top. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, the, the, the main goals were just, you know, we want to have higher power efficiency, run stuff on a GPU and, you know, do crazy stuff. Um, I, I don't know precisely what they were using it for. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that was kind of a general idea. Uh, I think it was like in the time where like the GPU GPU phrase term was still a thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard. Mm, I don't think so. I just had a look. Uh, Apple still does hold the trademark to OpenCL. It does. It do, yeah. doesn't matter at all. I uh, just, just had to check. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There was like I think the GPU. GPU, oh, GP, GPU term mm -hmm. was like a fancy word a few years ago. GP, GPU. That's a, yeah, that is kind of yeah. annoying to say, isn't it? GP, GPU. Uh, general Purpose Graphics Processing Unit is a graphic oh. processing unit that is programmed for purposes beyond graphics processing, such as performing computer. Oh, okay. So it's, it just means compute on a GPU. Right. Yes. So um, the, the history for that is that at some point, GP, uh, even OpenGL got like shaders. It, mm -hmm. It's kind of at this time when you didn't have this fixed function stuff where you say, okay, this triangle goes there and has this color. Mm -hmm. uh, but the industry transitioned to shaders. Mm -hmm. And this also had like implications for the GPUs because to run, you know, arbitrary code, you also need like something like a CPU on the GPU mm -hmm. instead of your fixed function graphics pipeline. Mm -hmm. And NVIDIA was also like kind of big with this where they, um, they also came up with CUDA around the time, I think even a little bit before. And what they were doing is they were looking at this and said, you know what, all the shaders we are doing, it's, you know, all the same with compute. It, like, it doesn't really matter what it is. We just have one thing for the entire thing. Um, so since like forever, uh, how you are programming graphics shaders or, you know, compute shaders is on the hardware, it's basically the same. Mm -hmm. Um, so that, that's kind of like the rough idea of where all this, uh, kind of come from. As you're saying that I checked and CUDA has been around for, since 2007. <laughs> I didn't realize. Yeah, it's it... a little bit older, I think. Yeah. It's, it's been around for a little bit. Yeah, I think uh, Tesla was the first GPU to support it. Mm -hmm. Jeez, okay. That's just like uh, 8,000 series. Right, like okay, GeForce before the numbering reset. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, GeForce 8800. Yeah. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that's a while ago. Yeah, so it's, everything is quite old and yeah. They came up with CUDA and Apple had their own thing. Mm -hmm. And it transitions at some point to Kronos um, to make it cross-vendor. Mm -hmm. um, 
I don't know if that was the reason, but that's kind of what happened. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. So what is this Rust DCL thing that you've been working on? Yeah, so um, I started it mostly as trying to learn Rust. Um, and because I was also like, you know, uh, at Red Hat, we have like those days of learning where we can, you know, dedicate some days to just, you know, learn whatever we want, basically. Okay, okay. That's and cool. I always wanted to go into West and I was like thinking, because I was also like involved with Clover, which is like the old OpenCL implementation inside Misa, mm -hmm. uh, written in C++. And um, I'm sure there are a lot of people loving C++ and everything, but it never really was like that much by most Mesa developers. Mm -hmm. um, so, so the, you know, a lot of people didn't really like to work with it. And I was also not a big fan of OpenCL. Um, uh, not OpenCL, I meant uh, C++. Yep. And so because I was involved in Clover and thought like, oh yeah, we can do like maybe a new OpenCL implementation and we could also figure out what would it actually mean to support Rust inside Mesa or like how would, you know, if Rust becomes like the cool new language everybody wants to use, um, what would be a migration path mm -hmm. for Mesa? Because, you know, at some point you can say, okay, we will always stick with C, but that also comes with the risk of maybe all the new developers don't want to, you know, program in C anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of bad for a project if C is all what you ha have. And so I was thinking, you know, I can just spend some time figuring out um, how to use Rust to implement APIs inside Misa. Mm -hmm. and how all the integration would work out, like all the you know, cargo stuff and compiling Rust code with the current build system and, you know, just how it would fit in. Most people, when they say they're going to learn a language, they don't go and implement OpenCL for GPU. <laughs> like, that's not a normal way that most people learn how to write a language. Um... But... Might be. <laughs> no, it, yes. it, it's uh -huh. awesome that you did. Like, someone's gonna, someone's gonna be <laughs> the one who wants to do that. But um, so it, it started as like nothing. Look, were you? So you didn't start like with the intention of taking it anywhere. If if I understood that correctly, like initially. Um. Yeah, initially it was more like a prototype. I just wanted to figure out if it would work at all. Um, at what point? And it was just, you know, it was just fun to work on it. So mm -hmm. I kept working on it. And mm -hmm. that was basically the reason. At what point did you realize that maybe it's actually a good idea? Um... Good question. I think when I was uh, creating the merge request for it, probably. <laughs> um, I think you worked that out a bit yeah. late. Um, but yeah, I think it was quite some... Uh, I don't know how long I've worked on it before I started to merge it. Mm -hmm. um, maybe a year, maybe half a year. Mm -hmm. I think it was a year because uh, people were kind of aware of it. Mm -hmm. um, I do remember talking about it back when it was like first getting a bit of attention. Yeah, I think I was talking about this in XTC 2022. Okay. The first time, maybe the... Re I think I had a lightning talk in 21 mm -hmm. already. Just saying, okay, this is what I was doing. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, I had a lightning talk on the last day of 2021 uh, on XTC. Mm -hmm. So it's not and... been that long that, then since like it's 
it's been like a, a, a serious thing. It's still like relatively new. Yes, yeah, I, I, yeah, it's between two and three years, mm -hmm. um, something like that. 